Hello YouTube land, Chris here. Sorry if you hear any uh, background noise. My roommates are being loud. I have a couple of announcements to make and uh, I'm a little sad because it's like some major news but um, before I get to that I'd like to say that I will be doing a lot, my last giveaway. Um, I might actually do one more just to carry out my word which was the Man of Steel giveaway so next week or in two weeks I should do one last giveaway after this one of the Man of Steel and this one is going to be Pacific Rim look how cool this is right looks <gasps> what so this is Pacific Rim I'll be giving this away for free all you gotta do is comment in the comments which um, these new comments I you know I urge you to like just check um, and see if I respond to you I don't know how it's gonna work because I haven't even figured them out yet I don't know how to like respond to comments but anyways I gotta like spend some time looking into Google Plus or whatever but so yeah Pacific Rim it's the blu-ray DVD and digital download um, hours of bonus content I saw this in theaters I would say it was a good solid movie and the effects are really good so I urge you to participate um, yeah and then one last thing I wanted to say before I get to my announcement it's kind of a big announcement as well is that I actually wrote a book um, I started in February and I've been writing I wrote all the way to August I was working um, close to 40 hours and then a little less but still over 30 hours a week with traffic it was it's very long I still do and on top of that I go to school um, three classes next semester I'll be going full-time and just trying to finish college I'm about a year away so I just want to give it like a final push but in that time I, uh, I wrote a book I wrote a book called the smoke monster I know so. and here it is I self-published it it's very thin you can find out more information if you go to the smokemonster.com. I also have like a hard copy. I'm not going to say go buy the book or anything, but I just wanted to share with the audience like, hey, you know, it's really cool. It's it's a little superhero-y, a little science fiction-y. It's very short. You could probably read it in maybe one or two days. Uh, I gave it to some family members. They It took about a week with their schedules, and they really liked it. And it is available online if you want to purchase it also for download for like four bucks but yeah it's very cool and I have a website this smoke monster.com so that's you know one of my goals in life is to be a writer um, I would love to write for movies that would be like amazing but you know it's very hard to achieve that but I'm praying hoping wishing but <laughs> I'm going to school I'm an English major and kind of tying into what I said before uh, I'm going to be spending a lot of time studying, going to school, and I feel bad every day that passes. For instance, like Thor just came out this weekend. I still haven't seen it. And I f even if I were to make a review right now, it probably, uh, you know, it'd be a lot of effort. And for, I, you know, I stopped monetizing my videos a while ago because I realized, like, let me pause the video here because it looks like it's framing up. You know, um, when I started YouTube, I was really encouraged because I had like 30-something subscribers for like six or eight months. Mr. Stevo, you were one of them. And, um, like, I would make all these comedy videos, and, you know, they were like corny. And I started making, like, superhero videos relating to, like, news and stuff, trailer breakdowns, and they started getting a lot of views, and I was, like, really encouraged. And I thought at one point I could like, make money off it, but... A, it's very hard. B, you have to get hundreds of thousands of views per month to even make any profit, like, worthwhile for you to substitute not working. And I was, I realized it was unrealistic, so I try to make it a hobby, and that's why, I, and on top of that, I was writing this book, and that's why my videos kind of decreased this year. I was, I used to be making, like, three to four a week, and I started doing, like, one or two or three a month. And I just couldn't justify it. Like right now, I was reading and doing homework all weekend. I couldn't justify stopping to go see Thor and make a review. You know, like in my heart, I do it. So anyways, long story shorts. <laughs>
Jake and Amir. Long story short, without beating, without uh, beating around the bush, I am going to stop making YouTube videos for a while, if not indefinitely. Um, I know that there's like Spider-Man trailers coming out, and all these trailers are coming out. And it, I mean, comic book movie right now is in it, the the genre is in its prime. Um, probably has at least another five years of of strong sales in it. Um, probably till like Avengers three before any drop off occurs. I would say. People keep saying it's like a western. The western. Um, the western. Uh, category genre that lasted for like 40 years before it died out I think it has a little more longevity I don't see why it would ever die out with so much characters and stories but I can I definitely see a point where four four to five comic book movies a year would be way too much it might slow down to like one or two from like DC and Marvel and but yeah right now it's in its prime and there's so much content I mean I could think of 20 video ideas I wanted I wanted to do like so many video ideas I wanted to talk about the war machine why I should be in the Avengers I wanted to talk all the trailer breakdowns I wanted to do like 10 topics on Thor I wanted to do plot ideas for Avengers 3 and I just can't justify it I don't have the time I really don't and it sucks because I you know I've seen a steady growth from 35 to now 242. I just checked someone subscribed today. And it's like, to me, that's a lot. That I haven't seen, you'll get some uh, unsubscriptions every once in a while. And then, like, I'll get, for every one person that unsubscribes, I'll get two or three. So it's like a steady increase. And I'm kind of sad saying this, but I just don't want to, I don't want to, keep you know I, I really take the people who view the channel and my commitment to the channel seriously and I don't want to just make a video every one, once a month or anything if it's gonna be a channel it's gonna be consistent I don't want people looking to my channel seeing if anything's new and then it's just or something I really don't want to do so for now I will do a giveaway for Pacific Rim and I will do a giveaway for Man of Steel, and I'll probably stop making videos. But if you want, you could always contact me um, through YouTube. I'm not going to close the channel down. Or through, um, if you go to the website, thesmokemonster.com, there's a way to comment and reach me. And my peel box is there if you ever want to send me a letter or anything. But yeah, I'm kind of sad right now. But it's all good, and I I want to leave people with the words of encouragement. Uh, the last year, I know I'm like I feel sad right now, so you're probably like, oh my god, he's depressed. I'm not depressed. I'm just like, I've just the last year of my life has been crazy, and I went I went from I went from working part time with my brother and in a restaurant on the border and failing classes in school. And wanting to drop out of school, I uh, I failed my like third math class, and I wanted to drop out. And I was you know thinking of moving to California and trying to start with like a production company, like that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to go to either Vancouver or um, L.A. and try to get an entry level position in a production studio and just work my way up. And you know. And really, my life has completely turned around in less than a year. I I was the rock bottom for me was having to move in with my dad and uh, his wife and their child. It's like three, and they're in a one bedroom uh, apartment, and I was like living on the couch for about two months, and that was I mean I felt bad every day. I wanted to get in my car and leave, but I couldn't. I didn't have money. I wouldn't I wouldn't have gotten past Orlando. I live in Miami. I mean and um Well my roommates are kinda loud. But yeah, I wouldn't have even gotten past Orlando and I really feel like I got a job, you know, the first day I moved in with my dad he said that these people had a job and I worked there and I've been promoted and it's been an excellent company to work for and 
I just feel like my life has a lot more structure. Now I'm, I pass some math classes. I pass some other classes. I'm rolling. I have a year left. And, you know, life's just beginning. I was able to write this book. So if I had to tell anybody there, especially people that are still in high school, youth, is that life changes. I've just noticed life changes so much. And you could be right now in a funk for a month or two months or even longer than that and think that your life will always be like that. And it changes so much. You, one person, one event, one move, and your life's completely upside down. Now I'm, I signed a lease. I'm in a little place. I have roommates. I have money in the bank. Out of my parents' house, going to school, um, steady job where people rely on me, where people you know count on the work I do, um, and very nice people and. You know, I'll, I'll even say this. I was so depressed, I thought a lot about, like, suicide and stuff. So not that I would ever act out on it. It was never, you know, but it scared me because I was very depressed, you know. And I just want to give people the encouragement, encouragement to say that life, you know, life, everyone says life is short, but life is really full of opportunities. And, you know, position things change, you know? Don't get too depressed out there. Um, the reality is that there's in life, not, not everyone cares about you. And that's okay, because you have to learn that to find the people that do, you know, and to, um, to, to be self-reliant a little bit, you know? There's going to be times when people, you know, say nasty things, or, or you feel excluded or alone. And you just have to know that you're not alone. That there's people that love you. And that life changes. And last but not least, I want to say um, that I feel God has had a huge part of my life. I feel like without him, I wouldn't be anywhere. And he's given... I feel like my, a lot of my character has been built off my with my brother. My brother gave me a lot of life lessons that I appreciated. Um, a couple key people in my life, like my mom and my current bosses and different people, and God. And there's a big part of my life, and I just can't finish the video without saying that. I'm Obviously, there's a lot of people that don't believe in God and, or different religions or anything, but, you know, hey, I'm being open, so let me just be open. But So anyways, to recap, Pacific Rim giveaway, comment, let me know lesmokemonster.com if you want to go check it out and yeah end of my channel but it's been fun and I enjoy everybody that's commented um, the Iron Man video still gets comments to this day just people arguing who would win in a fight between Iron Man and Master Chief uh, key people all the people specifically I'm thinking of Amon right now but there's been I don't want to leave everyone out Mirage so, uh, Steve, Mr. Steve-O, I don't, I don't want to leave everyone out, let me see, let's go to Grand Blue Skies Dot, Comic Book Cast, they were very nice to me, they let me put a video on their channel, and shouted me out a couple times, so there's been very nice people on their, uh, inter interwebs, and I really appreciate everybody, so I'm rambling, I'll let everyone go, and again, have a good